Melissa from Lovely Paper Crafters and I'd like to show you a quick technique. Um, so I will show you this technique here. And it's um, a, you gradually just stamp up in order to get um, it's a way of getting movement. Um, it's better with if you're using a vehicle um, tricycle, something like that, and then it kind of shows a movement, kind of when you're, it's kind of like when you're doing, um, I'm trying to think of the word, um, like animation. It's kind of a neat way to make things look like they're moving. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to do that today. And we're using the Timeless Tulip stamp set. And the Magenta Madness is the new paper that I have on this card. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to um, stamp down the darkest color first. So that would be the flower at the top. So I'm going to do that on a separate piece of paper here. So we're going to go one. And then we're going to do the second one right after that. And we're going to put that one right there. And then the next one we're going to put right there. And then the third one you're going to put right here. So it just makes a gradient. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your punch that goes with the tulip. And you're going to cut out the tulip. And I'm going to leave myself enough room. I'm just going to cut that off there. So just like that. Sometimes it's good to use a note paper just to get the punch in there properly. The paper in the punch properly. So then you have that little piece. And what you're going to do is you're going to close up that magenta madness stamp pad and you're going to now use the shaded spruce and you're going to use the stem so there's one stem and two stems and then you can have one going up to the top where you're going to put your your third flower so it's like that and then you're going to put that flower on there with dimensionals so it just makes it a gradient and it's really pretty when it's done so it'll look like that when it's finished thanks for joining me I will be back on Friday hopefully um, Friday evening at 6.30. Um, I do have to go for a test on Friday and so I'm depending on how that test goes. It depends if I can do it on Friday but I will sure to let you guys know and um, thank you for joining me for that technique. Have a good night. Bye.